Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, tools in the vertex mode in poly editing tool. Let's select this mesh, go to the sub object mode, click on vertex. As you can see, we have weld, connect, duplicate, remove, and use vertices as one of the main features of vertex mode. So let's start with selecting faces. I'm going to go to the front mode. I'm going to select half of the mesh. I'm going to detach this. So we're going to have two pieces separate from each other. I'm just going to remove this uh, transform. So I, I know that uh, I'm going to have two separate faces. I'm just going to show you here. What we need, weld is one of the vertex tools that uh, you can attach uh, two separate pieces and make it uh, one as one and in this case we have to select all these uh, vertices I'm gonna go to the vertex mode I'm gonna go to the perspective and as you can see I selected all the vertices no matter if I want to weld them or not because if they are uh, only a single vertex and attached to all the faces uh, weld is not gonna do anything so uh, it's not that important to select exactly what vertices we want so I'm gonna select vertex by default, you're going to have a threshold of 0.1. Sometimes this threshold might be a bit too high and uh, therefore merge these two vertices uh, so that we don't want and destroy uh, this region. In this case, uh, 0.1, which is the distance, is enough. I'm going to make sure that uh, we're not doing anything wrong. So I'm going to add 0.01, which is a very, very small one and only uh, two vertices that are overlapping each other are going to get welded. So let's again go to the face mode, move it down. You see after uh, the weld operation, all the vertices are now as one piece. So I'm going to undo. And we have our welding performed correctly. So I'm going to remove all these uh, operators so we can go to the next operation. The second option is uh, connect. Let's select a few vertices like this. So in each face, if you select two vertex, you uh, you are able to uh, connect those through an edge. So click an edge. As you can see, I selected these vertices, and uh, my uh, edges appeared. Uh, I'm going to remove this, so I'm going to show you, if I deselect these two, I'm going to select these three vertices in one face. So, if you select three vertices, you're not going to be able to make various edges except uh, randomly from one of these vertices to the other one, which are not neighbor of each other. So, if I select all these three, and I click connect, so randomly, uh, this one is ignored, and we connected these two. The same way if you select all those four vertices and you connect, you see, still from the first vertex, which is a random selection, from here to here we had connected, not from here to here. So uh, basically you have to always uh, make sure that you select the two vertices that you want in each face and follow and create your required edges. Uh, duplicate uh, right now, it's not uh, useful because uh, we don't have any uh, uh, create face at this moment, which uh, I suppose uh, is going to be added in the near future to the uh, face mode. So in this case, if you have a vertex, I'm, I'm just going to show you what remove unused vertices is going to do. I'm going to duplicate this vertex. As you can see, one uh, unused vertex, which is not part of any face, is created here. I'm going to select this and then says remove unused vertices. So we're going to remove any vertex that is not used in the face. So I'm going to undo. If I select nothing or select this part of the uh, mesh, if I click here, still the vertex remains in, this, uh, in the same place because you have to select all the vertices that you want and click here so then you can make sure that from your selection the vertex is removed using clean poly mesh. 
So I'm going to go back. If you need to uh, clean the mesh and find any vertices, no matter what is your selection, you just have to go to the Explorer. and uh, You just have to select a sub-object and go to the object mode. And then you have a remove unused vertices here. This any, any operator here, which is part of the object, means no matter what is your selection, is going to perform uh, for all the vertices. So I'm going to click here. This operator is applied and no selection. I'm going to select here. I'm going to go to the vertex. As you see, uh, uh, as you can see, the vertex it disappeared. So I'm going to disable this. The vertex appears here. So that's how we can clean the mesh. Uh, the remaining uh, options are remove and uh, delete. If you select one vertex and delete, then you can remove the faces of uh, the faces that are connected to that vertex through the edges. And if you select one uh, vertex and remove this, then you're going to have a polygon which can have lots of sides and you might see uh, normal issues because of uh, because of having a polygon which is not planar, and you're not controlling which edges comes from where to where. So in order to fix this, whenever you have something like this, this is one of the useful features uh, in the vertex mode that you can easily select one vertex, select another, and connect. Again, we have another non-planar plane, which uh, usually cause problems in uh, mesh smooths. So we're going to select something like this from here to here. I'm going to apply connect. Same way, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to select this one, and connect. Now we're going to have a face that has proper polygons in case we need to use mesh smooth. For example, we can, uh, we can have a mesh smooth operator and then we're going to see uh, a perfect uh, quads that comes from uh, those edges to uh, the other side. If you apply high value, you can see still your, uh, your edges are in a perfect uh, situation. Let me show you if I remove all these connect that I created, I'm going to disable. I'm going to disable uh, this mesh smooth, and goes back to the same uh, case as one. It was a face like this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you the mesh smooth one more time, so you can see what's going on here. You see, all the vertices uh, are correctly done here, except this face. All of them are getting connected after applying the mesh smooth. This is one of the cases that's why we need uh, a good way of creating edges, which in this case, our connecting edges is going to solve uh, this issue. I'm going to apply mesh smooth. Still, it's better than before, but it's still all of them are getting connected to this one because one vertex is connected to too many uh, edges, especially one from here to here. So that's why I created these two vertices as one edge. I'll show you one more time. It's getting better. So that's the way, uh, that's how we fix the issues with multiplying using Connect. You can watch my SOFA uh, video tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna sh uh, I showed there how to do clean poly meshes whenever we use symmetry. So we're done for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments, subscribe, tell me what you think.